guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple splash screen and then to a main menu. Almost when you start a game and you see the company's logos go up and, and such, that you want to skip between those and maybe it could be a splash screen to a main menu, a splash screen to your main game. But I'll show you something simple how to go through that based on a time interval that you give. So I've got a new Unity scene here and you can see by the blue background. So what I want to do is save this scene as maybe main menu. So I've got that. Then I want to make a new scene. Then I'll save that as maybe splash screen to put your logo. So if I open up my splash screen, you can see it's my splash screen up there. And then I've got my main camera. So if I go on game object, create other, GUI texture, you can see when my game tab's open, there's my scene, there's my game tab, you get the default Unity logo just appear there. So I created something earlier, just a second in Photoshop, just as an example. So there's your logo. So you can drag, click back on the GUI object, drag the logo to the top of there, you see it fits in that arrangement. Now you need to go to the pixel inset, it's sometimes closed up, but you just open it up and you'll want to just write the actual resolution that is a part of your screen. So mine is 1920 by 1080 because I'm just a standard HD monitor. And then you'll s notice that even when I run the game, that it's a bit off position. So what I usually like to put in is you might want to mess around with the actual value. You can do this in code, but to save time here, this I just use minus 950 by 530, and you can see when you play it, you roughly get it into the margins, but you can mess around with that at your own leisure. Um, you'll notice sometimes, if you haven't positioned it totally, you'll get that blue behind your camera, but what you can do to get rid of that is if you open up your camera and go to the background you can change the colour to black and then you don't quite notice it as much but that's just personal preference of course so essentially we've got our logo screen here and if we open up main menu we'll just save that you can tell this is ma this is going to be our main menu because it's it's blue so it's different to what we have here so essentially now what we want to do is create a javascript file so you can change, name that splash to menu, doesn't really matter, whatever you want. We'll open up Mono Develop, and I'll just arrange my syntax because that's how I, I like to use it. So what we want to do is essentially when this code starts, we're going to just tell it after a certain amount of seconds to move to the next menu. So what we want to do is write yield, wait for seconds, and then you want to write in the amount of seconds that you want to wait. So for instance, let's write three for this instance. So you're gonna wait three seconds, add your semicolon, then write application dot load level. And then inside your brackets, inside your quotation, whatever you called your scene that you want to load. So mine was main menu. So essentially this is all you need to do for this. So save that out. And Nothing will work until you attach the script to something. So if you go to the main camera, drag the splash to menu on there, you'll see it appear on the script. But if you try this, just running it, nothing will happen. And you'll probably um, get an error message unless you've gone into your build settings beforehand and added splash screen and main menu. All you need to do is just drag them into this box and just so the the game can build them in in the runtime so essentially as you saw before i can press play wait three seconds essentially and then it moves to your main menu but say you're waiting for a longer period of time say we'll change this to 30 seconds and you want to wait 30 seconds before it skips so say you've got an intro sequence or something like that a video um you can uh, write a simple if st if statement just to detect whether you've actually put a button down. So you want to write if open brackets input dot get key down, and then you want to write key code, oh, 
and then whatever function you have on your keyboard so I usually like to use the space bar so if you write space and then if you do, drop a line down application dot just like the top you can copy it whatever you want load level and then you're gonna write exactly the same thing in this box just to show that if you press your space space bar you'll load that scene so you don't have to wait that 30 seconds every time and it's in your update function because it needs to be checked every frame so if we save that out and we press play you'll see that we're waiting a period of time more than three seconds we'll press space and you have press space it goes straight to the next scene so essentially that's just something simple to go from one screen to another uh, a period of time skipping it yourself whatever you want so Anyway guys, thanks for watching.